Hey guys, just finished watching Doom Patrol season one, episode fourteen, uh, penultimate patrol. Um, so we only have one more episode. This is the before season finale, and uh, <laughs> what an episode! Oh my god, this show is really, really, really good. Um, it is really an interesting show, and I'm really kind of disappointed with the things that are going on at the streaming service and how it's not really, it sounds like it's not really doing too well. Um, that I even heard that the uh, Swamp Thing show got cut three episodes short. They had, to, they had three more episodes to, to make, and the production just, they came in production and just shut everything down. Had to shut production down because of they're just not making enough profit with these shows. So um, I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed with that. So I'd love to see this kind of get picked up by like Netflix or something because it needs to be Netflix. It's just a bit too, I don't think any network show would ever pick this up. It's too crazy out there, too much of a risk. Um, but having it on uh, on Netflix and stuff where, where episodes could drop weekly, they could drop all at once, whatever, um, I think it could be uh, an interesting idea to play with that. And um, the, you could do it that way. You could keep, you know, because there's the, the, the course language and all that stuff. It just would only work on Netflix and stuff. And I think this could be kind of interesting doing with that. And since they've, they've canceled that, they, you know, they've they're cut their ties with Disney and Marvel and stuff, these would be the perfect shows to kind of go on there and take over with that. And I think that could be kind of really fun to see where things could go with this. So um, we start off this episode with nobody, nobody um, and we see that he was fired back in the 1946 from the Brotherhood of Evil. He was actually fired by the brain and replaced with, um, oh, I can't think of his name, but the, the Gr Gorilla Grodd and stuff. They referenced that a lot, and I think that was really cool. So we know that the brain really exists, and we've seen uh, Easter eggs to the brain before, and was it the Doom Patrol episode where we saw the original Doom Patrol with M M Memento, or Mento? And uh, and we saw that uh, you know the empty like shell type thing, so that was really cool seeing that. I guess the brain has had a new. Uh, and who knows if the brain is still alive or whatnot? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but that was cool there. They end up meeting uh, Danny the Street again, and he find he knows where Niles is, and they have to go into the the white space in between the panels on the comic books. And I think that was really cool, uh, kind of playing this. And it got me thinking that I'd love to see a crossover battle between you know. A show like this between Deadpool and Mr. Nobody I think that could be an interesting kind of uh, the two of them fighting at each other could be quite interesting to see. Um, although Deadpool, he's aware of the fourth wall, he doesn't really have it, use it as a power. Whereas Mr. Nobody, his power is controlling the fourth wall type thing, and I think that's really interesting. Kind of playing with that, I think that's really cool to, as uh, things uh, go forward for the show. We see that uh, Flex Mentello accidentally he tries to get everyone into the, the white panels, but he flexes wrong muscle and he makes everyone have explosive orgasm makes them all come and stuff and i think that was just kind of such a brilliant scene <laughs> it is so funny and the, the build up to that i think it was just such a, a great uh awesome scene i definitely can't wait to, i think it was just so funny and it was really um hilarious to see something like that in, in a show like this you at, at a left field no one could have predicted that I think that was perfect it was so brilliant I had me cracking up the whole time um they end up choosing uh, and then you see that they end up finally getting into the, uh, the the white the white space in between panels and stuff. That was really cool. And uh, they're all in there kind of like pre before their accidents and stuff. And nobody gives them the opportunity to kind of redo everything to get uh, a, a free pass and kind of um, you know not have the go around the tragedies that they have you know and prevent them. But they all choose not to and stuff. And that was kind of cool dealing with that. Um, we see that Vic, uh, you know, we found out that Victor was chosen um, over his mother to become Cyborg because they could only choose one. Um, and I think that was kind of interesting with that. Um, and I think it's really kind of, uh, it's going to be cool to play with that relationship going into the, another season type thing. But we'll have to wait and see as to where things go. Because like I said, I feel like the idea of this being another, getting another season is slim to none unless another channel picks it up, another service picks it up, Netflix could pick it up, or another station somewhere out there um, could pick it up. I don't see them making another one. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see as to where things go with this. Um, so we see Rita, you know, she's in, we see her in, in like the new Doom Patrol costume, but like uh, she looks like she knitted her new one, but it's like the red one from the original one. I think that's really cool seeing that. And she's the only one really in there. Uh, you know, costumes like that, but that's kind of cool seeing her in that costume. And we got a time loop where the chief kind of sees everyone kind of, you know, getting killed off over and over and over again. I think that was really cool playing with that. Um, and then we find out that the chief is responsible for everything, for all the kind of personal tragedies that happen to each one of them. He's responsible for their, for all that. I think that's going to be cool to play with that, to see where that goes in the next episode. So I'm excited to see as to where things go with this show and how it kind of wraps all up in the next episode. I just hope that it doesn't have such a too big of a cliffhanger. Um, and if they do have a huge cliffhanger, 
Um, we'll have to wait and see as to where things go with this show. You know, if they do and they put it on Netflix, or whatever, um, and they decide not to do another Netflix show, maybe they could do like a short movie, two-hour movie type thing that just kind of wraps up all the storylines type thing. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. We do know that uh, Teen Titans is going to be getting a, a second season that should be uh, confirmed. You know, maybe Netflix will do it, but uh, we'll have to wait and see if this thing also gets onto Netflix, which I imagine it will. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see as to how things kind of go with this. But I'm excited to see this show and I think the, the, this a uh, season two or at least uh, however it ends and hopefully it can end in a way that's kind of like open for both you know what I mean not nothing there's like the storyline leaves it there there's an option for season two but yet there's kind of don't need to wrap anything up there's enough of a wrap up right there right type thing and then we'll have to wait and see as to how things kind of go um with that so definitely can't wait to see as to where things go everything here so let me know what you think guys put this in the comments below i definitely can't wait to see as to where things go and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video peace out